All right, welcome back, guys. This is Derek of the Dallas Prospect, and uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder have their first game in the books now. It was a home opener against the visiting New York What's up, Knicks. Guys, this is Derek Kirby, aka DDP of the DallasProspect.com. Your home for all things Dallas sports and pop culture. Welcome back to the Dallas Prospect YouTube channel. Today we're going to be changing things up a little bit. Uh, take a look at our pop culture content. I've seen you guys uh, four or five times now, and I mean, not saying this just because you're literally right here. I've always thought you guys were just as good, if not even better, than the headliner um, for the shows. Thank you. Thank you. Can I say something really quick? Uh, yes. Derek was Derek was totally nerding out about this interview. By the way, thank you. He was really excited about this interview. <laughs> Just thank you, Derek. All right, now that my credibility is shot. <laughs> if you're a fan of Dallas sports and pop culture, this is your place to be. Already decided you don't like me? No sweat. I'm one of like 15 contributors here. The act. He's pretty good at making adjustments season to season, but in a game, sometimes even week to week. Nine ridiculous Marvel and DC comic storylines we'd love to forget about. Personally, I'd like to forget that Wolverine and Squirrel Girl fuck. I have no, no need for Garrett. I don't want Garrett. I am sick of Jason Garrett. That said, I still think the problem was over here a little bit as well. I'm not saying it was the right way. I'm saying it was a way and it was the way that they chose. All right, here it is, hush. Children. Oh, oh God, oh, they did oh, it. Man, I hate. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Welcome back to Cheap Pop, where I try to analyze and break down the biggest questions across film and television. Today's topic, Annihilation, starring Natalie Portman. Let me tell you something, brother. This is the fourth straight year of Cavs versus Warriors, brother. And oh, brother, are we sick and tired of seeing it. I mean, really, there's no telling how different this team would have looked in recent years had Cuban simply drafted. And it was Cuban's decision. Don't get it twisted. Donnie Nelson loved Giannis. It was Mark Cuban's decision to pass on the Greek freak. This is a more puzzling one because at least Eric Dampier saw six out of those seven years on that contract with Dallas. And it was the trade chip Dallas actually got from moving on from Dampier that allowed them to go get Tyson Chandler. Facts. Dennis Smith Jr. Highlight dunk. All right, let's see what the hype's about. Oh! Even if he had Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet, bro Thanos wears on the left hand. Infinity Gauntlet, brother. It wouldn't change the outcome. And in case you're a Warriors fan, well, let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. Snakes can't wear gauntlets, brother. WWE Creative has no real direction for Finn Balor. And it's driving me crazy. What are they doing? I don't know, but I wish somebody, anybody, anybody? could come in here and fix the booking of Finn Balor. Why? Who, who, who are you? What? Who are you? What's going on? What's up? I'm DDP from the Dallas Prospect. I heard you needed a fantasy booker. What are your thoughts for how the offense can kind of right the ship against the Lions this week since it's been struggling the past few weeks? Well, you know, first of all, the players got to be accountable to themselves and get out there and play some hard-nosed football and quit worrying about what play is called, what play is not called. This next matchup will be the first time, brother, but not really. The last time, brother, but please God, yes. The only time, brother, that we get two NBA teams matching up in the finals. One, two, three, four times in a row, brother. Because frankly, brother, it's getting a little bit nauseating at this point. You want the tagline? Oh, it's that, yeah, yeah. Every legend begins. Oh my God, you're fired. You're just fired from the- I'm freaking tired, okay? I'm freaking tired. I slept on the ground, man. I slept on the freaking ground. I don't care what you say. I slept for like 30 minutes. I had no sleep. What? No, no. You don't tell me what I experienced. I slept on the freaking ground. Okay? Every legend was once a prospect. Yeah. And they're getting pressure on the QB too. And usually that translates to interceptions or you know, tipped passes or just passes thrown under duress. But I really can't see, I don't know if it's like a, you know, phenomenon or what, but 